shift from exchange controls to financial surveillance and administering foreign currency is finally here. This is the manifestation of a process that began 1995 wherein the bank, together with other common monetary area members, as well as SADAC member countries, have been actively working on the relaxations of exchange controls since. What are these exchange controls? Exchange controls come in the form of monetary limits and prerequisites in executing certain transactions in foreign currency. The central bank's vision is to have a stable price and self-regulating financial system to foster economic development. The relaxation of controls will continuously give more powers to the financial institutions to undertake transactions freely without having to constantly seek for permission from the central bank, thereby creating a self-regulating environment within the local financial institutions and enhance the ease of doing business in the country. As part of the gradual relaxations, the last five years saw relaxations which include number one, flexibility to maintain a foreign currency account without the need to convert to local currency within 90 days as previously required. This allows customers to maintain a foreign currency account indefinitely and results in the ease of payment for imports and other services. Number two, Increase of the travel facility limit from 500,000 emalangeni to 750,000 emalangeni by 2010, which was ultimately increased to 1 million emalangeni equivalent per annum in 2014. Number three, increase in the foreign investment by individuals from 2 million emalangeni to 4 million emalangeni per annum in 2018. And number four, Removal of the need to apply for central bank approval for all advance payment for capital goods up to 100% of the ex-factory cost of capital, goods to be imported not exceeding a total value of 10 million MLME. With this launch and all it comes with, we are dedicating ourselves as central bank to continuously eliminate the need to seek for central bank endorsement prior to moving funds to decrease the time lag in the movement of funds which stifles crucial business activity that boosts our economy. Let us look at the significance of this in numbers. The increase of monetary limits and removal of the need to put transactions on record with the central bank saw the number of applications decrease from 156 applications in 2011 to about 53 in 2018 as more and more authority was relinquished to the banks. Financial surveillance is the future of banking. As the central bank is gradually adopting the financial surveillance regime, investor confidence will be significantly improved going forward. Thank you for joining us as we officially launch the financial surveillance division of the central bank. <laughs>